Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day. This is the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studios with me? This is Sharon Miller. Sharon Miller, welcome. We'd love to know. What do you know, Sharon, that my audience would love to know? You know, we just released our Merrill Edge Spring Report, um, and we found out some very interesting things from our uh, clients, and specifically millennials and their attitudes toward investing and their attitudes toward retirement. And what would that report uh, uh, highlight for us? You know, unlike um, our older clients who are maybe already in retirement that thought about retirement in terms of reaching a specific career milestone or, um, you know, getting to a certain age, our millennials are thinking in terms of how much money do I need to retire in order to begin my second act. So that could be, um, you know, if you're 30 years old, 50 years old, whatever the age is, they're not thinking in terms of, um, you know, an X age. It's, it's, a, it's all about the, the amount of money needed to accomplish their lifestyle. When I read a recent report that millennials are overtaking the baby boomer and numbers for a long time, well, for most of my lifetime, the baby boomers have been the largest population with 7.9 million currently. And the millennials are right behind them with seven, 75, um, excuse me, 75.4 million. So, what else did the survey tell us? Because that tells us they've got some cash, too. <laughs> they do. Um, and, and so the, the other thing that the survey told us is, you know, when they do reach retirement and what are their goals and what is that second act going to be all about, it's really about giving back to the community. Volunteerism was a theme we heard. Um, another theme that we heard was about spending more time with family and even traveling the world. So very different uh, paradigm shift from our millennials um, in how they're thinking about retirement. You are so on target. My producer, she's a millennial. She just got back from India. That, that's not even on my bucket list. Right, right. No, it's, it's, you're exactly right. So they are changing the way we live and think. Uh, I'm putting a lot of hope in the millennials. So what else did you find out good about them? You know, we, we also found out that, um, that they're thinking about retirement. And again, you know, that dollar amount that, that they need to have in order to get to uh, retirement age. So, so they're investing earlier. Um, and they're thinking in terms of, you know, how can I save? And we also encourage um, all of our clients, um, whether you're a millennial or, or, or any other generation, that you start saving early and often. Um, make sure that you have a budget in place and that you stick to it. Um, and that if you do have an employer-sponsored retirement plan, that you contribute to that because many times you'll have a match um, and it's a great way to save for the future. But my audience, Sharon Miller, is a Merrill Edge executive. Sharon, tell me what else, Sharon, I'm sorry, tell me what else, what's the best thing you guys found about this survey? Because I think we ought to just let them lead the planet. Exactly. With the, um, with the attitude of, of giving back to our communities, it's a, um, it's a wonderful generation and, and certainly a great mentality. So um, I'm very hopeful after reading the, the survey and, and after we've surveyed our clients. So it's, it's a great, uh, great study. I'm feeling pretty good. Now, if my audience wants to know more, because these are true facts, I live them. I know they're actually true. And I had never heard the survey uh, that you've done. Uh, where can they go online and find out? You can go to MerrillEdge.com. 
Um, on there, it has a lot of information that's, that's really streamlined for our clients that whether you're um, just getting started or you're an expert uh, investor, there's all sorts of tools there. And you can also find the Merrill Edge report um, on that site. I can't wait to go there. My team is like, they're giving me the <laughs> thumbs up for talking to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sharon Miller, for being my guest this morning. Thank you for having me.